All right, so we are back on the Jaguar build, finally, after way too long. Where we left off, uh, this is what the engine is looking like. Uh, where we left off last video. I think it's looking all right. I'm not uh, not mad about it. Um, so I wanted to start working on the top and some more of the stuff here. Carburetors. I basically want to get this thing well, more done. Um, so I'm going to start with the uh, valve covers here. Now, when I took them off, uh, some of the chromed dome nuts here broke off. And looking at photos of the real car, I'm thinking that's that's a good thing because there's supposed to be like copper washers under those. So I went to or I went online. This is one of their cards, Model Motor Cars, not sponsored. Uh, but they do have a Scale hardware store on their website where you can get some really tiny hardware. Uh, so I bought some washers. Now they don't have brass, I mean, sorry, they don't have copper washers, but they do have brass washers. But what I found out from soldering some of those other brass parts, if you heat up a brass part, it uh, brings the copper out and it leaves like a copper colored surface finish. So what I was planning on doing was breaking all of the nuts off heating up all of those washers to turn them copper looking, and then gluing a washer under each nut. That was the plan. Um, when I started doing the three that actually broke off though, when I just kind of test fitting the washer under those and then resting the nut in place, a couple of problems. Uh, one was, for as small as that is, it really wasn't visible. Um, at least not with my eyes. They just really were not that noticeably differently visible. Also, the nuts that broke off, they did not break off perfectly flat. So when you set that nut on a flat surface like the washer, it was cocked over a little bit. And trying to sand the bottom of that tiny little thing perfectly flat so it was sitting flat proved to be very, very time consuming and difficult. So Given those two things, that it would be extremely time-consuming and difficult for something that you wouldn't really even notice, I decided to just kind of scratch that idea. Not going to do that. Not going to worry about it. Um, so then I started looking at the chrome. This one's not too bad. It's a little scuffed here. Um, looks like whoever put this together first left a glue fingerprint on it. That might polish off, maybe. Looks like the chrome is worn thin a little bit here. So it's just not that good a shape. Um, and this one was even worse. This one, uh, the chrome, it looked like somebody airbrushed like light yellow or something on it. I don't know if it was overspray or what the heck it was. Plus there were several spots where the chrome was just kind of eaten through. I don't know if it was a the glue they used. But I tried sanding off the paint and actually there wasn't any chrome under it. So I'm kind of thinking maybe they screwed up the chrome and tried to touch it up and just... So I sanded, I sanded it all smooth. Also, when I took this one off, it damaged the edge here. So I'm in the process of patching that up and a little bit here. Um, I need to sand that a little bit smoother. So the plan is to paint these silver and Looking at reference photos, I don't think that's completely unrealistic. I do kind of want to save the original chrome of the uh, of the cap here, and I do want to save the chrome on the nuts. So what I'm going to do, I found this heat shrink tubing. It actually fits over those nuts. It presses on. It presses on those nuts like that. So I'm going to cut a bunch of little short pieces of that sh that shrink tubing, and put it over all of the nuts, and I'll tape off the cap, and then I'll airbrush the rest of it silver. And looking at photos of the real cars, a lot of times those are, they just look like they're spray painted. Gray or silver or like spray paint chrome or something like that. So I don't think that's unrealistic. I'll probably put like a, like a darker wash around it just so they look kind of oily. I mean, keep in mind, this is a valve cover on an old engine. I'm not trying to build a show car. My goal for this build, I don't know if I've said this yet or not, but, but my goal for this build is to make it look like some rich guy drives it a couple of times a week, but he's proud of it, so he keeps it clean. 
in his spare time, he'll pop the hood and wipe everything down. He'll run it through the car wash once in a while and just keep everything clean and very well maintained. But yet, an old engine is going to have some grime. Um, but I don't want it to look too nasty, but I don't want it to look too perfect, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to get these painted, and then I'll get these bonded on, and then I will start with either the carburetors or the exhaust, one or the other. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. So uh, I'll get back to you when I'm ready for more. did get these painted, and I masked off the, um, the filler cap here, so that stayed chrome. And I painted the rest silver, and I like them. I think they turned out all right. The um, now I did do like a copper wash around the nut, and then um, wiped that off. And then I masked those with a um, little piece of heat shrink tubing over top of them. Then I sprayed the silver, and then I did just the normal, the normal panel line accent wash around those and I think they turned out pretty nice. Um, I'm not uh, not mad at that at all. I also did the exhaust. So here are the um, the exhaust pieces. Now looking at photos these are either gloss black or flat black or rust and I decided to go for kind of a like a used flat satin blackish. Um, I shot them with satin black and then I tried to go over it with um, uh, burnt iron um, just lightly around some edges but that didn't really show or do much so I tried just a light misting of burnt sienna to try to mimic rust uh, that just made it look more brown so I just misted it with the satin black again and I think I'm at a shade that I'm okay with I think I'm at a color that doesn't look too stupid. Um, touched up the uh, the nuts with um, some silver, or not silver, but uh, some steel colored paint. And one other thing I did was I opened up these areas right in here, because from the kit those were completely closed off. You know, it was just easier for them to cast them like that. So I actually went in with a, a Dremel and I opened those up to match reference photos, um, just to make them look a little more realistic I guess and obviously those one will go here one will go there and I will probably bond those on before I install the engine because they're not really in the way of doing that also I have the dipstick and looking like that this will set in there kind of like that um, don't know if I'll do that before or after I install the engine, but um, anyways. And also, I was working on the intake section. I've got those pieces put together. They were all busted up and not looking very good. Uh, so I got those all glued together. And I masked off the chrome upper bowls here. Sprayed everything with aluminum paint. And then I masked off and I painted these with the silver paint. And I masked off and painted the bar across here steel. Painted the little temp sensor there copperish. And I drilled a tiny little hole right at the base of that so I could put a wire in there. Because I do plan on putting a wire harness on this. Put a few little copper touches, then I did a dark wash over everything. And that's looking okay. Again, I'm not mad at it. Uh, it's could probably be a little better, but I um, think it's all right. I also drilled out, I drilled a hole here and here and here. So I plan on putting fuel lines, put a fuel rail in it a little bit later. I don't think I'm going to bond this on just yet because if I bond this on now, that will get in the way of putting on the distributor a little bit. And I don't want to put the distributor on yet because that would get in the way of the mounting for when I install this into the frame. So the plan is, I'll, like I said, I'll go ahead and put the exhaust on, um, and then I want to mount this into the, uh, into the frame, and then install the distributor and do the wiring, and then install the, um, well, the wire harness, because there's wires that go to the starter, and that would really make that difficult. 
Um, so do the wiring, and then finally put that on probably towards the end of the engine um, finalizing portion of it. The distributor, I uh, just glued the cap on, I painted the cap flat black, painted the rest of that uh, silverish. I cut some flashing material, again it's not brass, just some, uh, I don't know if it's tin or aluminum. It's like aluminum colored on one side and kind of a brassy looking color on the other side. Uh, but I cut some strips out of that and kind of bent them to shape and glued those on to mimic the little hold down straps that hold the cap in place. So that will get glued on just like that. And then the coil itself here. Now I was looking at pictures online and some of these uh, sometimes are just plain aluminum color, sometimes they're black, sometimes they're this uh, kind of yellowish color that I did, sometimes they're green, blue, kind of different colors. Kind of like the yellow one. Um, plus I was out of the trans blue. So I painted it silver and then I went over it with Tamaya's translucent yellow. I cut a piece of that uh, flashing material again to make the strap around there, got a little bolt in there, got the front painted flat black, got a couple little tiny bolts in there for the wire connections, and this will just simply go on like that. Not 100% perfectly accurate to the way the real car did it, but compared to the way the kit did it, it's like a million times better. And again, I don't want to put that on yet because I don't want to risk bumping it or damaging it while I install the engine into the frame. So those are the engine parts I have done so far. I'm also working on the wiring for the spark plugs. All right, so I need to repaint that one because it kind of got messed up a little bit. But some spark plugs that I've seen pictures of, the wire um, kind of goes in just vertically right on top of the plug. Some of them have the connector that comes in like horizontally, like on top of it this way. So anyways, that's the whole where the spark plug will go in. So let's just take a look on how I made that. Again, it needs to be repainted. Uh, the brass tubing. Now that brass tubing is one point eight millimeter, and we need to drill a little hole in the side of it. Now, if you try to center punch that, it's just going to completely destroy it. So the best way I found to drill a hole in there to get a hole started, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this on camera very well, but I've got a little dental burr that's uh, smaller than the hole that I need and what I found is if you put it next to it sideways this way just to get it started a little bit slowly line it up ah, come on. and then that one's through and then change the bit to the drill size that you need so that hole that I just put in there is a 0.6 millimeter the drill that I'm going in now is one and a half millimeter. And then you can more easily, seriously, don't drill your fingers. There we go. And that's in, just like that. And it does getting a little bit warm. This drill bit is not the sharpest. And then the next step is to measure that against an existing one. And I just eyeballed, I just eyeballed uh, where to put the hole in the end of that. But measure against an existing one and then go through and cut it off with a uh, cutoff wheel. And then, once you have that cut off, 
if you go into the top of it and just put uh, with them with some thick CA and just put a little dot of thick CA on the end of that and then spray it with accelerator that gives it kind of that domed bubble look and then I will paint those with either flat black or this rubber color right there rubber so uh, I will paint all of those that rubber color and then the uh, plug wire the plug wire can just go right in there if I can find the hole sort of um, it's like that and of course that hole goes right over top of the uh, spark plugs that I made and I think that looks a little bit nicer than the way the kit has you do it, which is a little piece of heat shrink bent over like that. That's how they have you do it in the kit. Hopefully that makes sense for the uh, plug wires. And again, I think I'm going to install all of that. I think I'm going to install all of that after the engine is installed. Um, just because with it in the frame I need access for bonding those and for measuring and shifting and fitting and those would be in the way and uh, that would be in the way of yeah it would just I think it would be better I could be wrong I don't know um, I'll find out when I do it but as far as the engine goes right now I think this is where I'm going to kind of be done on the engine and what I need to focus on now is back on the frame and the firewall I think um, the only thing I have left to do here is install the um, the throttle linkage bell crank and then I think I can actually get some color on this I've been talking about putting some color on this for the past two or three videos now but I think I'm almost actually ready for that. So let me get that throttle linkage made and we'll, we'll see where we can go from there. All right, so there's one of the covers on and uh, it was just solvent welded on. So I'm gonna do the other side, obviously. And I also, what did I do? Um, oh yeah, I made the uh, throttle linkage. This goes on the firewall. This is without a doubt the smallest bell crank I've ever made. And it actually works. Throttle linkage connector. I mean, it, it's not gonna move when it's all in the car, but uh, so this is just brass, pieces cut out of brass. I uh, just got some nuts on there now to hold the bolts in, but that will get bolted through the firewall. Um, and it's just, you know, from looking at photos as is everything else. So now that I've got that made and I have the holes drilled in the firewall to bolt that into the firewall, as far as the actual rod connections, um, for example, here's that gets mounted this way, that gets mounted that way. So there'll be a rod connecting that arm up to that arm then another rod connecting from here straight over to a bell crank that's mounted on a bracket in front of the windshield washer fluid. And then from there to the uh, carburetors. Those rods are a problem for future me to solve, because uh, I haven't really thought about that too much, but shouldn't be an issue, I hope. Now, I went ahead and painted the, um, let's get that out of the way, painted that portion of the, refocus, that portion of the bottom part of the car. I didn't really do the bottom, that'll, you know, get done later. I just sprayed this a little bit ago. It's dry to the touch, but it's not dry enough for me to trust it not leaving fingerprints if I handle it too much. And I also did the frame, and again, same thing. It's not dry enough for me to be comfortable handling. Um, I'm hoping it looks better in real life than it does on camera. And my first thought was, I just painted it John Deere green. But my lathe is John Deere green, and when I hold it up next to the lathe, it is definitely different than John Deere green. Um, this is British Racing Green, um, is 
is uh, you know the color I ordered but uh, obviously that goes on like that but I don't want to do it yet because it's probably not fully cured I want this to cure for several days before I really start handling it um, so I'll give it a few days to just set and um, and then the next video so I want to end this video here because first of all it's way too long for as little work as I actually did um, and second of all I'm not gonna to be touching it for a few days so when we get back to this I will be mounting all of the stuff that goes along here all that stuff that I've been building the past few weeks um, will go here I will then work on the wire harness uh, I will also attach this to there and the engine mounted and then I should be ready for suspension I don't know we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how it goes so I don't want this video to drag on any longer than it already has so I'm gonna call it done for now and um, or I'm gonna call this video done and as always thanks for watching